What do you do to separate yourself from everybody else? What do I do to give myself that advantage, that edge? If everybody's out there just playing and you're exactly like them, you shape like them, you, you have the same speed they have, everything is the same, what's your advantage, what's your edge? To be one of the greatest athletes, to take, to take your school's program to a level that it may have never been to, you're gonna have to have a motivation that nobody else has. You have to have a why. Your motivation has to be totally different. You have to have a why. This is all I'm asking for. I'm, I'm, I'm asking you to get a why because apparently there's, a, there's something that's happening inside of you that does not allow you to push yourself every single time. So I'm asking you to create a why because if you have a why, then maybe every time you went out, you just wouldn't be there in body, but you would really be there and give 120%. What are you doing for? Are you a gazelle or a lion? I want you to stop just thinking about yourself. I want you to think about your family. I want you to think about your town. I want you to think about your school. I want you to think about yourself. Remember what we talked about. I'm going to help you to separate yourself from every other player that's the same size as you. Every other player just just as quick as you. Let me tell you what I know he's not going to do. He's not going to put forth 100% effort every single play. He might do it the first quarter. He might do it the second quarter. He might even do it the third, but most of them give out in the fourth quarter and they put forth 50%. And that's why Barry Sanders was one of the best running backs that ever played the game. And he would be negative 16 yards in the third quarter and still get a hundred and something in the fourth. Why? Because he said all those defensive guys, the guards, the tackle, they will get tired. Their legs will give out. And just when their legs give out is when I'm going to break for the big one. You will not outwork me.
right here last year. And what did we do from that point forward? We made that big jump to week two, and we took off from there. That's all you got to do. But it's going to take every day of practice, and everything that you do has got to be centered toward that mindset right there. If you can do that, you'll be another champion again.